Welcome to the Gorilla 7 video series. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a second production phase and attach breakdown sheets to that phase and then create a board for that phase. So far, we have only one production phase with a series of shoot dates attached to that phase. To see this, select the Shoot Days button on the toolbar. Let's create a second phase. Click on the New Phase and Shoot Days button. Enter a phase name and assign it a color. Enter a shoot day range. The shoot days can overlap another phase or be a completely different set of shoot days. I'm going to add a few days to the end of the existing phase for a second unit phase. So now we have two production phases, each with its own set of shoot dates. Now let's go to the breakdown screen and change a few scenes so that they are attached to the second unit phase. Notice when you select a breakdown sheet, the phase that it is attached to appears here. Let's say that the living room scenes and the ledge scenes are going to be shot in the second phase. Select the first scene that we want to move to the different phase and then select the phase field. Select second unit. You can do this one by one or you can go to the list view for breakdown sheets and do a find and replace. Let's do that quickly as this is a nice feature to understand. In the list view for breakdown sheets, select Find Breakdown Sheets from the File pull-down menu. In the Set field, enter Ledge and then click Perform Find. Then from the File pull-down menu, select Replace Phase for Found Breakdown Sheets and select the phase Second Unit. Do this also for the Living Room Set Breakdown Sheets. Now, if you go back to the breakdown sheet screen and display the phase on the scene navigator, you will see that the scenes are divided between the principal photography phase and the second unit phase. Let's now go back to the stripboard. The first thing you will notice is that the scenes that are now attached to the second unit phase no longer appear on the boards with the principal photography phase. Now let's create a new board. You can call it second unit if you want, as we are going to attach this board to the second unit phase. Notice what happened. We now have a board with only the scenes attached to that phase, and the dates are the dates we specified when we created the second unit phase. You can then arrange the board to fit your schedule and then save the board. If you toggle between the two boards, you will see that each has a different set of scenes with a different set of shoot dates. That's a wrap. Have a great shoot.